even though I am quite disappointed that BYD will initially be revealing a plug-in hybrid variant, not the electric version first, at least there will be an electric version to follow. This is what the BYD ute or pickup truck will actually look like. This is based on Peyton images. A graphic designer has essentially filled in the color. So this is exactly what BYD's truck will look like. I, I think it looks really good, but I'm curious to know, am I by myself here or do people actually agree with me? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'm a big fan of utes and pickup trucks. I know a lot of people are not, but I think they're quite practical. And in a lot of cases, they're necessary. So, you know, some people buy them just for a status symbol, but I think a lot of people are buying them more so as a family vehicle to use, you know, for work, but also to take the family out for camping and activities on the weekends. So I can see why people want to get them. Anyhow, BYD have been working on a pickup truck, a ute, an electric version, and a plug-in hybrid version for quite a while now. They actually have hired former Ford and General Motors engineers who worked on pickup trucks for Ford and General Motors to try and kind of fix it, make it better. So they actually finished this truck, apparently, what I heard in China, and then they brought it to Australia and got these engineers to kind of make it more westernized, I guess you could say. So this is what it looks like, but the initial version of the truck or the ute will actually be a plug-in hybrid before an electric version follows it. So what about size? How big will it be? Well, it's smaller than an F-150. It's probably a good thing for most people. It's a similar size to a Ford Ranger, Mitsubishi Triton, or of course the Toyota Hilux. That gives you an idea of realistically the category of size it will be in. In terms of design, it was designed by Wolfgang Egger. He is the former designer at BMW and Audi. I actually believe at Audi. So he's actually done a pretty good job, I think, designing most of BYD's cars. Some of them are a bit busy. That may not be his touch, though. But I think this one looks really quite nice. And in some ways, you can see there's some clear design hints from the Ford F-150. In some ways, it looks a little bit like a Ford Ranger. And in some ways, it's actually quite unique. So quite a good combination of different elements, in my opinion. You can see that the actual impressions here were created by Witch Car, which is a website that I often go to for information. So it's worth checking that website out. Now, what else do we know about it? Well, apparently it's coming out this year, 2024, and likely 2025 is when the electric version is coming out. I'm personally not that interested in plug-in hybrids from BYD. They've got a pretty bad reliability record in China. That's simply a fact. There's no way of avoiding that reality. And plug-in hybrids, to be honest, catch fire much more frequently than electric cars or gasoline, petrol, diesel-powered cars. I just think they're kind of like too complicated. They're trying to jam in all this different technology, and it's not really necessary. It's actually not necessary. I mean, if Rivian, Rivian can make a pickup truck with 400 miles of range, 700 kilometers. You don't need to make a plug-in hybrid version of an electric vehicle. You just don't. There's charges everywhere. I mean, if you really, really get stuck with an EV, there's millions, there's like hundreds of millions of charges in the Western world. Just, you know, there's houses everywhere. There's hotels. There's, there's all kinds of businesses, restaurants that have charges. They're actually, actually quite common. Anyhow rant over on the plug-in hybrid concept. Now, apparently um, BYD Australia, which is the Australian distributor of BYD, they don't actually have anything to do with designing or engineering the vehicles. But in this case, that was different. Here's what they said. We've been very embedded in the engineering relationship and partnership with BYD. We had a couple of week-long workshops with the BYD engineers who are designing and building the ute. Now, as far as I know, it's already been designed and built. I think it's more like finishing touches, you know, suspension, what kind of suspension tune, what kind of suspension are they going to put on this thing? Things like that, where, you know, you can do them after you've already built the actual chassis of the vehicle. Obviously, they've been working on this vehicle for a number of years, so they didn't just start yesterday, as like Luke is sort of implying. Anyhow, he says, we did that in China. We drove the ute and we had great fun but also did all the pressure testing and came away with a whole range of enhancements to make this vehicle the best it can be and the most attractive for the Australian market. Is it just coming to Australia? No, it's not. It's coming to where? Thailand, New Zealand, Australia, and Southeast Asia, other places like Malaysia, 
Um, I'm not sure what other markets it's coming to, possibly Europe at some point. That's definitely a something BYD I'm sure we'd consider with local distributors in Europe. We've been with BYD Engineers in Australia on a research project looking at the conditions more in depth of Australia and what people are looking for in a vehicle like this. I mean, right now, the only electric vehicle you can buy right is the LDV T60, which is a, it's a diesel ute. They've just taken the motor out of it, converted it into an electric pickup truck, electric ute. It's, to be honest, it's, it's very expensive. It's 93,000 Australian dollars. It's not very good, but LDV have an electric ute coming out, which I think will probably beat the BOD electric ute to market. It looks as though that vehicle will probably come to China around the middle of next year. And it looks amazing. I've got to tell you right now, I honestly think the LDB electric ute, the new version, not the current version, the new one, will be better than BOD's electric ute. Uh, the reason, we know the specs. The specs are amazing. We know we have some really good information about it. But BOD is being very coy um, about its electric ute. It doesn't even seem as though it's taking it seriously. It seems like it's more, much more interested in the plug-in hybrid version. Therefore, I think it's more likely the LDV version will actually be better. Plus, LDV have had quite a bit of experience actually making pickup trucks, making utes. Yeah, they're not you know amazing, but they've certainly had a lot more experience with than BYD and they appear to be taking electric utes much more seriously than BYD. So I personally think if you're in Australia and you're looking for an electric ute, probably the LDV version will come out before this BYD version. But if you could choose between this BYD ute and the LDV version, by the way, you want to see the LDV one, I'll put a link in the description to my video about that. Which of the two would you go for? Thanks for watching.